are you calling for number 10? What do you mean, my condition? You're in a coma for quite some time. That's not negligible. True. And even if you seem better physically, there may well be serious psychological after-effects. Fair enough. So you're refusing to let me leave? Oh, no, of course not, miss. I have no intention of abusing any of the prerogatives of my position. Nonetheless, first you must submit to a series of tests that are designed to demonstrate that you have fully recovered. You understand. Please, sit down. No. I... on that? Yes, yes. Don't be afraid. I don't what? work here, by the way. I'm just a pervert that hangs around. Don't worry about these restraints. Merely a simple formality that's part of the protocol that Dr. Olga, our supervisor, has implemented. Now I'm going to ask you a right. series of questions. Right. I do believe that we can begin. Now, be so kind as to state your first and last names, age, and place of birth, please. Answer me, please! My girlfriend is messaging me, oh hell no. Uh, I wonder what she means, oh hell no, to. Uh, I mean, like, just for the sake of getting this game out of the way, I'm looking up a walkthrough. Uh, because I have no idea. Ugh, fucking. My name is Kate Walker, I was born in New York, and I'll be 30 this year. We're the same age. Um... Good, good, miss. Up until now, my device would seem to corroborate what you say. You're using a lie detector? It's procedure. Please stop worrying and talk to me instead of your friends and family. Are you on good terms with them? No. I cut off with them. I haven't had any news from my mother for weeks. And Dan, my fiancé, left me for my best friend Olivia. You seem to be basking in this chaos and anarchy, Miss Walker. Chaos and Is this anarchy. inclination for disorder connected to this Hans Vorlberg and Oscar? You spoke about them at length while you were delirious. Oscar was an automaton, and Hans Vorlberg was the person who made him. We became friends, and I went with them on a long journey through Europe. There you have it. That's to be honest, point. what I'm interested in, Miss Walker, is that during your travels you were in contact with the Yuko people, the nomads who brought you here to Velsenborg. In your opinion, what should we fear from such a primitive tribe of savages who understand neither law nor border? Refusing civilization and settlement. What should we fear? We shouldn't fear anything. I think, Doctor, that the Yukuls live in harmony with nature, time, and space. They have no real reason to change the way they live. Now that is an example of typical American idealism. Maybe you should go back to New York right away. I'm sure your brilliant ideas will be justly appreciated there. Yeah. I mean, you kept talking after your words stopped saying.
Hmm, I see. In a way, your silence is quite answer enough, Miss Walker. So you intend to continue your journey through our country? A hazardous undertaking with neither goal nor destination. Pity for a brilliant New York attorney who seemed to have a gleaming future. That's not for you to decide, Doctor. For the rest, I think I've demonstrated throughout this interview that I present no psychological after-effects from my injuries. I would therefore like you to authorize my release now. Of course, of course. Oh, Do calm down, Miss Walker. I'm sorry, but I'm not used to being interrogated like this. Some years ago, I would have interrogated you in a very different manner, Miss Walker. I grant that I may still feel some nostalgia for the good old traditional methods. I would have beat you senseless with a rubber hose. You're one of the very last representatives of a world that is fast disappearing, Miss Walker. A disordered world that no one will miss. Hippie. This key is much like you. Unstructured and uncontrollable. If you're able to find a way to use it to leave this floor, then you shall have proved that you are permanently cured. I would like to get my things back before I leave. You, you will find them there. Russia looking for enlightenment. You know, like all hippies. Get the fuck out of my office if you can, you filthy fucking hippie. One of the few... Why can't... God. Like, the original games, I... Turn around. I guess I played on... PC, the first one, and then Xbox, the second one. And th even on the Xbox, it was point and click. So, you turn around, but leave the door hanging wide open in front of that large window. But, like, this is a completely different format. It's awkward. You'll see her glitching around the screen, right? God, no. No, Kate Walker. Alright, display objectives. It said press that to display objectives. Oh, this... That was... 
not tedious trying to solve where they went. It was tedious trying to figure out how to use it. But what on earth's wrong, Miss Walker? I don't understand. The key. It didn't work. I did warn you, you know. You can't be at all well enough yet to deserve to be released already. Answer me, please! You've got to be kidding. I managed to use your stupid key. Gently, Miss Walker. Protocol clearly. I don't give a damn about your protocol. I'm cured. So let me leave and just stop it. Impossible, Miss Walker. The rule is very clear. Only those patients who are capable of opening the door may leave this floor. Okay. Ass. Oh. Uh, ask for Madame Olga. Answer. In that case, I will try to escape in any way I can, Doctor. You can try, Kate Walker. But understand that in the 20 years I've been working in this department, no one has succeeded. Oh, I will. See, doctor, unlike the rest of your patients. There's a problem with the key. That's obvious. I need to find out where it comes from. I have a walk. So, open inventory. Zoom in. What the fuck is going on here? Oh, god damn it. Okay. I saw a giant hole in the side. This isn't... I, I, I need a fucking... Because there's... The walkthrough I'm using is seriously not giving me the information I need. This is just... This is insane. <laughs> 